Avoid the scam. Avoid the shakedown. Avoid looking at properties with out-of-state eyes. If you're an investor looking to buy properties in one of the cash flow markets across the USA, you need to make sure you do your due diligence on the market. If one of those markets happens to be Cleveland, I will do it for you. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. Today, we're working with my man, Matt, investor from Frisco, Texas. And Matt, I am working with you to build a portfolio of properties in the Cleveland housing market. Why? Because Cleveland is one of the best cash flow markets in the USA, and you are working here because you can get a better bang for your buck in Cleveland than you can in Frisco. And you sent me a property today to run the numbers on for you, right? It looks amazing, and that's where things get dicey, right? We got those out-of-state eyes, folks. We're looking at stuff with out-of-state eyes thinking, what could go wrong? It's so cheap, right? But smart investors like you, Matt, you're like, hey, I, I don't know Cleveland. I am in fucking Texas. Of course I don't know Cleveland. James does. He's in Cleveland. Let me make sure I run it by him before I drop $85,000. Makes sense, right? Y'all spend five hundred dollars on a home inspection. Uh, but you don't think about what could go on outside the four walls, right? There's a lot more to the rental property business than just uh, studs and sinks and cabinets, guys. There's a lot more, okay? And I, I work you through it, right? So if you guys are invested in Cleveland, you want to make sure you make money on good deals. Don't lose money on bad deals. I'm your guy. Click the notes below to book a free call with my team. I'll work with you one-on-one -on -one like I'm working with Matt to analyze the property he sent me, which I'm going to do right now. Welcome back, folks. Here is the deal, and this deal is fool's gold. Those were the comps. We will get into those momentarily. This is a fool's deal gold, okay? This is fool's gold. On the market, 84500 4153 East 123rd, Cleveland, 44105, okay? This is what the listing agent said. Calling all investors. Monthly rent is 1175 Fantastic opportunity to own this and five other multifamily homes, part of a portfolio, all in the Cleveland area. All six properties are fully occupied, have been updated, and are professionally managed. This is a turnkey investment. There will be no showings until an offer has been accepted. Owner will consider selling individually or is willing to sell as a package, and then there's you know, parcel numbers to the other properties. Not relevant to what we're doing, right? And then you get the one shot. Let's just go ahead and assume it's in decent shape. Uh, decent shape. We're going to go ahead and assume that. It's in decent shape, and the tenants, let's just assume they're currently paying rent right now. Price to rent ratio, everything looks good. What do the numbers look like, James? I don't know what the numbers look like, right? This is a very blighted neighborhood, very difficult. Hard to predict for you what uh, your pure cash flow will be because there's so much uh, volatility. And that volatility causes the ARV on these properties to be much lower, right, than what you're used to, right? A lot of out-of-state investors are looking at Cleveland, and a lot of the duplexes in the C neighborhoods are selling for about 100 k immediately, right? So this one looks like it's an amazing deal at 84 and a half. It's, uh, what is that, 15% discount, right? But guess what? All those properties that sell within days at 100 k so within days at 100K, right? That's what I just said. Well, this one, 15% cheaper, hasn't sold in 37 days. Why? Because it's not in a C-grade neighborhood. I'm not saying you must invest in a C-grade neighborhood if you're out of state. But what I am saying is this is an F-class neighborhood, and 85 is way too much money, right? Don't take my word for it, though. Take the comps. This is what the market says. Now, when I do comps, come on in close. Come on in. Uncle James is talking. Go ahead. 
Come on, come on in, man. Get yourself a little coffee. Let's talk. Let's let's sip a little coffee, a little tea. Let's let's chat about some real estate. Let me teach you a little something about real estate. If you're an agent, this will help you too. Okay, the proper way. Oh God, I hit my microphone. Is my audio still on, John? Sweet. Now, the proper way to do comps is. Well, there's various ways to do comps, okay? But if you're in an urban area, or like a, a densely populated area like this, like we have here in Cleveland, right? Like, all right, if we're doing, like, farmland where everyone's got, like, 20 acres, things are different. But an area like this where people have, like, small postage stamp lots, right? Like, they're, like, a tenth of an acre, right? The way you do comps is similar properties sold within a quarter-mile radius over the last six months. That's the proper way to really get a gauge on the market. I did that. But this area is so blighted. Didn't have enough comps. So what I had to do is go back five years. Five years. If it's in like an area where there's a lot of traction, like the sea areas, over six months, 25, uh, 25, 0.25 mile radius of a property, I should get like 20, 30, 40 comps, okay, in six months. This one, to get you just eight comps, I had to go back five years. And one of the comps is the property that you're looking at. And guess what? When that sold, it sold for $10,000, right? The one above it, 3600 The one below it, 20 k another one, 20 k 25 and a half, 32 36 70 right? So our very best comp in the last five years is 15 grand less than this one. You're supposed to buy the crummiest house in the nicest neighborhood, folks, not buy the most expensive house in a super crummy <laughs> neighborhood, right? Like properties are selling for 20, 30 and less, right, when they sell, which is very infrequently, right? So you'd be far, far outpaying uh, what it's truly worth if you bought it, right? I mean, they bought it for 10 Gs. And if you you go even deeper, you, you pull up the map, you can really get an understanding why why it's so cheap, right? You could see all the blight, right? You could see why it's going to be so difficult, why it's hard to predict for you. What amount of money out of that 1175 are you really going to take home, right? Hard to tell. The big wig property management companies like Holton Wise, we turn down construction work, we turn down PM work in neighborhoods like this, right? Why? Will I sell properties in neighborhoods like this? Yeah, like if this person was like, yo, James, sell, to, sell this for me, I would give them an open and honest valuation of the property, which I think the true value here is, is probably like 60, between 40 and 60. But again, it's so hard to peg it because they sell so infrequently, right? We are literally averaging a little bit over one sale in this neighborhood a year, right? So it, it, things are so volatile over here, right? And you can see this, right? This, this tells the picture. Here's the house. All of these vacant lots you see, this one, this one, this one, this one. All of these, these, right? Over there, there's a couple, right? These vacant lots that you see, folks, what this is, a couple over here, right? Here, 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 here. Here, 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 there, up there, okay? These vacant lots you see. These are properties. They get dilapidated to the point where, like, you might have a property where you got to spend 60 k to get it uh, to the, you know, livable standard. People are like, what's the ARV? Well, if the property needs 60 k in repairs in the ARV, is like almost impossible to tell because we're only averaging one sale a year in the neighborhood or it's like 40k obviously that doesn't make sense right it doesn't make sense to spend 60k fixing up a beat up house that's only gonna be worth 40k we could all agree that makes no sense right so what happens is people just say screw this and they walk away from the property they stop paying the property taxes the city takes it over and tears it down all those vacant lots i just highlighted for you our properties like that, right? So with this deal for an out-of-state investor, price is too high, risks are too high, your ability to hire workers to, to manage the asset, good luck with that. It's going to be very, very tough. I believe for the money you're trying to spend, uh, you could find a better use of your funds than paying for this. If you did want to buy it and you thought you could handle it, I would say your true value here is somewhere in the 40 to 60 range, but I really can't peg exactly what it would be because a lot of times in neighborhoods like this, you know, broker and seller kind of get together like, how much do you want? 
Seller gives the price. Broker's like, how about you take less? And then seller's like, okay. And then how about I take this? And the broker's like, how about you take less? And seller's like, no, it's got to be that. And the broker's like, okay, well, why don't we like throw it on the market and see what happens? And then if it doesn't sell, you keep going down until <laughs> eventually somebody buys it. It's a crapshoot, right? It's a crapshoot. So that's my thoughts. But in my opinion for you, I, I think you're probably best pass it on this. Leave this to locals. Uh, locals can make money on these properties because sometimes they could pick them up for really low deals. And, uh, you know, they have sweat equity built in. They could do the work themselves. Things of that nature, right? L leave that to them. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.